Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this is the press conference. The situations in Syria, South Sudan, and the Central African Republic have gone from bad to worse. These are avoidable tragedies in which millions of civilians are paying an unconscionable price. I'm especially alarmed by the spread of sectarian animosity and by the dangerous regional and global spillover effect. I appeal to the warring parties and all those with influence over them to recognize that there is no military solutions to this conflict and work for a political solution that implements the Geneva Communique. More immediately, there must be an end to all violence, including the Syrian government's use of barrel bombs and other heavy weapons that kill and maim so indiscriminately. Yes. You are the, the persons who lead South Sudan is at a crossroad. This crisis can be resolved only at the negotiation table. And I urge the two sides to negotiate in earnest. In the Central African Republic, we must strengthen the African-led mission and do more to prevent the spiral of violence from spreading. Earlier today, the president of the transition and the prime minister resigned. I take note of their decision. I urge all political part actors in the country to work urgently to restore security and law and order and to address the root causes of the persisting instability. I'm alarmed by this morning's announcement of well over 1,000 settlement units. Such activity is not only illegal, but also an obstacle to peace. Thank you.